please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon today we are going to learn to write about another animal camel we are also able to domesticate camels now when we talk about camel we talk about an animal with a hump long curly neck small little ma eyes big mouth and you think about a camel walking on the beach beach full of sand they have a different type of leg when you talk about camel you also say oh desert so it's got another name ship of the desert now camel it can go number of days on a journey without food or water then what else you know about camel yes some people eat drink camel's milk then there are two kinds of camel one with a single hump and there is one bacterian camel they have two humps mostly these camels are kind and gentle animal so we're going to learn to write a short composition on the camel all right the camel so when you say camel what will we write first they are large animals that live in and around a desert deserts are dry place so uh, camels are animals that live in and around a desert where do we have the desert in india in rajasthan very good so we say the camel the camel is a large animal large animal camel is a large animal that lives you can say in a desert area that lives in a in a desert what is a desert desert is a dry place okay what is it known and normally known as ship of the desert so you can say it is known as the ship of the desert it is known generally known as the ship of the desert as the ship of the desert now why do we call it ship because just like the ocean that is so large only a ship can sail the desert is a huge sandy area and only an animal can like camel who's got a different type of leg can move about in the desert and they also use the animal for transportation for traveling all sorts so the ship is the camel is called the ship of the desert that's how it gets its name then why why is camel able to live in a desert camel can do well without food or water for many days it can live you can say it can live for several it can live for several days can live for several days without food or water without food or water what we said the camel is a large animal it's a large animal that lives in a desert 
Camel is a large animal that lives, that lives in a desert. It is known as the ship of the desert. It can live for several days without food or water. Okay. It has a very large bag in its stomach. That means you can eat earlier. It can eat enough food and water, take in enough water and that stomach stores it for several days. So, you can say it can live for several days without food and water. Why? Because it has a very large stomach. It has a very large stomach. got a very large stomach and it can store. So, it can store enough food and water for a long journey. Long, large stomach. So, it can, it can store enough food and water and water for several days, for several days. So, camel is a large animal that lives in a desert. It is known as the ship of the desert. It can live for several days without food or water. Food and water. You can say not what, food and water. Okay. Then, it has a very large stomach. So, it can store enough food and water for several days. So, when the journey is to be made, they feed the camel so that it can go on and on without stopping to eat or drink. Now, what is the nature of its feet? It has padded feet. It has and that is what helps it to move in the desert. It has padded, padded feet. Why does it need padded feet? Which help, which help it to walk, which help it to walk and run, help it to walk and run on the sand. Only a camel can do that on the sand. So, we spoke about where does it live? In a desert. Then in what is it known as? The ship of the desert. Then how can it live for several days without food and water? Because of its large stomach. What, is, what do they do when they go for a long journey? They feed the camel enough and water. Then, it has padded feet which help it to walk and run on the sand. Only a camel can move about for several days without stopping on the sand. Now, people are able, people are capable of domesticating these camels just like we do to horses and elephants. Now, Let's talk about where do we find this animal. Camels are normally found in Rajasthan. Camels are found in Rajasthan. They are normally found in Rajasthan. What do they use the camel for? It is used for, it is used for transportation. People need to move about. They have to take the things around. People need to travel. So, it is used for transportation.
transporting goods and people. Then, to carry loads. To carry loads. And, ploughing fields. Yes, carry loads. Ploughing fields. And for drawing water, they will be in the oasis, in a small pad, they will be well. Heal and so they need to draw water from the well and for drawing water. See, it's several uses. What are the camels used for? Camels are found in Rajasthan. They are used for transportation to carry loads, people to move, to carry loads, for ploughing the fields. The small patch of field they have. And for drawing water from whatever source they have. Now, when you talk about the camel, what picture do you get in your mind? Camels have long, curved neck. They have, they have long, curved, Long curved necks, neck, and a high and a high hum, high hum. Now, what is a hum? Hum is the bulge on the back of the camel. Okay. Now there are two types of camel. Some camels have only one hum, while bacterian camels, they have two hums. That's how they differentiate. Now, what kind of animals are they? They are very gentle and kind animals. They are, they are very gentle and kind. Animals. So the camels are very gentle and they are very kind animal. Now some people, they also drink camel's milk. Some people also drink camel's milk. Some people, not all, some people also drink Camel's milk. All right. Now that's about the camel. So what are we writing? We are writing about a camel, an animal that lives in the desert. So what is the first thing we are writing? Where is it found? Camel is a large animal that lives in a desert. It is known as the ship of the desert. Only it can move in a, you can also elaborate in the sand, in the stretches of sand, thick sand, only a camel can move. It can live for several days without food and water. It can go on and on. It has, why? It has a very large stomach, so it can store enough food and water for Several days. So when they go on a journey, they eat, drink and then they do not eat in between. It has a padded feet. It has padded feet which help it to walk and run on the sand. Hot sand. Eh? Camels are found in Rajasthan. Rajasthan is our Indian desert. You can also write that. But if you are writing a short composition. It is used for transportation. People to move from place to place, sometimes that's the only transport camel. Then it's also used to carry loads, ploughing the fields and for drawing water. Then they have long curved neck and a high 
hump. There are two types of camels, camels with one hump, if you want you can write, and there are others with two. They are very gentle and kind animals. Some people also drink camel's milk. You can elaborate more, you can do drawing of it, that depends on you, but we are writing a short composition on the animal, the camel, which is also domesticated by man.